How's everybody doing? This is John with CNC Connoisseurs and we've got a much requested one for you today. So, do you have a cartridge and you're having a hard time refilling it? Well, this also applies if you happen to purchase one of these questionable cartridges and it fails, how do you remove the mouthpiece to extract the oil? I'm going to show you how to remove the mouthpiece from these cartridges in a way that they can then be reused or the oil can be recovered from them. Now, the tools that I'm going to be utilizing are simply a common pair of vice grips and these are going to be C-cell 1 mil or 1 gram disposable one-time use ceramic coil cartridges. That being said, let's take this to the deck. Okay. Well, here we are. Once again, these are one-time use, non-removable C-cells. As you can see right here, this is a C-cell brand. That is a batch code on the bottom. All right. This is another one. This one here does not state C-cell across the bottom. But on the base, it does say C-cell M079. This is also a Jupiter distributed cartridge. So the first things first. We're going to take a pair of vice grips, common vice grips, and we're going to adjust them so when we apply them, we apply them just at the base of that metal. See how it's just barely, barely at the base of that metal right there. And we want to close it so it closes it just a little bit. It pinches down just ever so slightly, nothing cracks, it barely bows. And then you rock it back and forth rather firmly now there you have it you will get some plier marks on the mouthpiece but if you look this collar right here which is what you want to preserve is undamaged, completely undamaged. Okay? Now, there's a silicone ring right there that will seal around this shaft, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, in this outer sheath, you can see that it is also undamaged. That one was a little bit difficult. Uh, I'll apply it to this just to stand it up. And I'll have a go at one of these other ones. All right. I will show you again on this one here. Like I said this is a C cell. You take the pliers right at the base of the metal, pinch it, rock it back and forth, pulling the cartridge off of the mouthpiece. Just like that. Okay. Very simple, easy. There you have it. All right, now I'm going to apply this cartridge to this battery just for a stable base. And I'm going to open up this gelato right here and uh, warm it up to dispense it into this cartridge. Okay, now here is the cartridge we are going to refill. All right, here is the mouthpiece for the cartridge. Perfectly fine, a couple of scratches on it, but that shouldn't affect it in the least. Here is the distal that we will be applying to it. I have warmed this up substantially uh, just to ensure that it does um, flow rather well into the system. You simply place the applicator tip on the syringe, twisting it to ensure that it has a good seal. You put the syringe tip down into the cartridge and then just begin to apply the fluid. Uh 
All right. There you have it. As you can see, the original line of the older oil right there at the bottom and the new oil coming down to meet it. Okay. Take that off the bottom there. You can see it's sinking down there very nice. We then get a protective silicone cap for these threads right here. Apply it to the threads. Take the mouthpiece that came off of the cartridge. Put it over the top. And it will, it will not go on all the way. That's a good thing. That means that the seal still works. It will not go on. At this point you want to take a precision device and apply pressure. Now, as you do that you will see this seal disappears. And there you have it. Let's take this back up top and um, see how she does. Alright, and here we are back on top with the sea cell refill that we have here. Now as you can see the oil has gone down to the coil, has mixed with that other oil. Uh, bubbles are rising at the top. Let's take this protective cover off the bottom of this. Hook it up to a battery. And see what we got, shall we? <coughs> yeah. Well, there you have it. That's working like a champ. Wicking that oil through there. I can get that little bit of gelato flavor from that distillate that I put in there. It's very nice. Well, there you have it. That is how you can remove and refill one of these cartridges. To extract the oil from it, what you're going to want is a slightly longer blunt syringe tip. And I have a few of those. A slightly longer blunt syringe tip, such as this one right here. As you can see how long that is. That would definitely get all the way down to the base of that. And you would be able to extract any additional oil that happens to be in a cartridge where the this, this cell has um, failed. This one, though, it's not failing at all. It's working great. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been John with CNC Connoisseurs. You be sure to remember to subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And tune in to some of our other videos to see if you like those as well. Thank you so much. This has been great. You have a nice day. Peace.